All right, so welcome to the uh, today's day of review for functions. Uh, just remember a function is basically a correspondence between two sets to two different numbers, uh, the x values and the y values, where every each element of the x is matched to only one element of the y, one and only one element of the y. Um, x, remember, is called the domain, and basically what that means, remember, there's no repeated x values. <clears throat> so we want to know, if f and g are, beline, are defined below, okay, if x is the function that puts x on top of y, right, um, is f a function, and what's the domain and range? So if we look at x, right, we have the point for x to y, so 1, 7, 2, 5, 3, 6, 4, 7. So um, do we have any repeated x values? That's the question, okay? With this set of numbers, we don't. All right, that's it. As easy as that. So you would just say, yes, f is a function. Okay. Um, and then the domain is, and if you remember, we did at the set of x, right, such that. So we did that straight line down. Let's see if I can get that up here. Math. Hmm. Yeah, we'll use that. Not great, but maybe we'll put that in there. Such that, and then we just have x is equal to, and then what numbers? We have one, two, three, four. Okay, that's it. All right. And then the range is the set of y, such that. There we go. Even better. Okay. Y is equal to, and then we throw our numbers. So, 7, 5, 6, 7. All right. So, it's still a function because the X's don't repeat. Now, remember, the other one we talked about was a one-to-one -one function. Okay. And that would mean that um, it doesn't have any repeated y values. So we would say this is not one to one, okay? So f is not one to one, okay? Because there's repeated y values. Now, one to one has to come down to inverse. This is kind of, we have an inverse of this function. Um, that is why we would want to talk about one to one functions here, which is something you'll talk about a little bit further. We get into algebra two. So is g a function? So same thing. We look at g. We see one, two, one, two, three. This is obviously no. Okay. Uh, no, g is not a function since it has repeated y values. Sorry, x values. All right. In terms of our definition, we would say there's not one specific y value for every x value. We have doubles y values for each of the x values. All right, what is f of two? So all we're gonna do is look for two for f, right? And what this question really asking is, what is y when x is equal to two? That's what this question is actually asking us. All right, we evaluate f of two, we plug two in for x, what do we get for y? And you go back up to your points here, you see when x is two, the y value is five. So we would say f of two is equal to five. All right, and then we would say if f of x is seven, right, then what might x be? So this question is kind of flipping this and saying, what is x when the y value is equal to seven? So we're gonna go look at the y values this time, right? And we can see there's two possible answers. So we could say x could be either, um, yeah x could be either, right, one or four. There's two answers there. Okay, a relation is just a set of ordered pairs of numbers. Could be a function, might not be a function, we're not sure, but it's, that's what a relation is. All right, so these are some examples of what relations could be, okay? We have uh, first, you know, the set of um, just points. 
right? One, two, one, two, three, which we just talked about is not a function, okay? We also have the mapping diagram, which shows that one is becoming both five and it's also becoming eight. So when you read the diagram, these are our X values and these are our Y values. So our points here would be like the point one, five would be a point, the point one, eight would be a point. So that's how we're reading um, the mapping diagram. Graphically, same thing here. We can actually read these points based on what they're graphed. So like this is the point one, one, two, three, four, five, right? Um, and remember, we can use the vertical line test for a graph. So if I draw any vertical line, okay, it should only hit one point. If it hits more than one point, then it does not. It has repeated x values and is not a function. And then we know the table. So just reading across the table, are there any repeated x values, whether or not it's a function? Okay. Remember, domain is all the possible x values of your function. The range is all the possible y values. Just want to double check, make sure we didn't have anything else on that page. That's it. Okay, on the back. So sets of numbers comprises of intervals, all right, along a number line of a particular interest in math. We've seen how to represent those intervals in set builder notation. Now I want to introduce interval notation. So this is just interval notation. Remember that when we talk about less than signs or less than or equal to signs, we'd be using brackets for less than or equal to signs when they're closed circles and parentheses for open circles. So open circles are less than or greater than signs, and closed circles are less than or equal to or greater than or equal to signs. So when we see this interval, okay, that means that x is stuck between negative 3 and 2, all right? And because it's a parenthesis, this is open, so it's a just a strictly a less than, all right? Or in this case, it's, x is greater than negative 3, and then less than or equal to on the other side. So x is less than or equal to 2. All right. So for the first example here, we're determining the domain and range of each relation. We can write a set of values or an interval, depending on the type of relation we're given. So this would be our domain, OK, is the set of x such that x is equal to, and it's just points. So 3 four, five, and six. This is a function, by the way, because there's no repeated x values. It's not one-to-one, -one, though, because there is a repeated y values. So the set of y such that y equals one, two, two, and three. All right, and we're using points here. We're using these um, as a set because we don't have numbers in between three and four. On B, we can see it's a graph. So any possible number you can think of from here to there is going to be included. Now, there should be either closed circles or open circles at these points. You normally, that's what you would see on a graph. So we'll treat these as closed circles for now, okay? Closed circles for now, since there isn't anything else there. So we can see that the, the domain, okay, the x values, goes between... Okay, two and seven, and it includes them. So we're gonna say two is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to seven. All right, that's one possible way to write this. Or I could write two comma seven and put my brackets down around it. That would be the domain. All right, the range is the set of y values such that, and here the y values are going from three to five. So we're going to say 3 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 5. Remember, this is an and which, okay? We have inequalities on both sides here. And the other option would be to say we're going from 3, starting at 3, ending at 5, and I'm including both values, so I'm going to put my brackets down. Okay? So a function is a relation in which each member of the domain or x value is paired with one and only one member of the of the range, all right? So no repeated x values, okay? Um, so compare, which is a function, explain your answers. Try this one on your own, see what you guys can come up with, okay? Also, is it one-to-one? -one? Pause it, do you think? All right, here we go. So it is, yes, it is a function, okay? 
And once again, there's no repeated X's. And yes, it's one to one. No repeated Y's. Okay. So going to the second one. Now remember, it can't be one to one if it's not a function. So once you hit not a function, that's it. We stop. Okay. So in the second one here, same thing. Okay. And we would say no relation two is not a function since it has repeated x values. The one repeats twice. All right. Okay. And then we're going to use a vertical line test, which you could talk about before. Can you draw a vertical line that goes through these functions? And if you can only hit this function one time, no matter where you put it, then it is a function. So you can see function A is going to be a function. Fun this B is going to be a function. No matter where I draw this line, I'm only going to hit one time. D or C looks like it could be here, but as soon as we move the line over here, it hits it twice. So even though this line is only contacting once, if we get one line to hit twice, the answer is no. And the same thing with D. I can get a line that only hits it once. But as soon as I get one that hits twice, then the answer is no. So remember, A, we said was yes. Okay, pass the vertical line test. Okay, B was yes, also passed the vertical line test. C was no, failed the vertical line test. It had more than one uh, repeated X value, right? And no for D. Okay. And then number five, tell whether each relation is a function and explain your answer. So A is no. Okay. Not a function. All right. There are repeated X values. And then the same thing with this one. No, the diagram is not a function. Or we can say B. I'm going to say that, right, the mapping diagram, not a function, function, since, right, uh, actually, the answer here is yes, yes, B is a function, I saw the double arrow here, and I just thought to myself, no, but yes, it is a function, okay, and there are no repeated X values, however, right b is not one to one since it has repeated y values all right and that is it guys okay tomorrow you have your delta math assignment uh so just make sure you check there and i will have another video for you guys on monday all right, man, and, and ladies, uh, have a great rest of the day. Make sure you get the Delta Math done. If you haven't finished the other one, please go back and do so, so I can uh, increase your score from what it currently is. Um, and make sure you guys get any missing assignments done, because I will be giving you credit when they are finished. All right, guys, have a great one.